Okay, we are doing a spiral review number 13. You will enter your last name, your first name, and then tell us what period you take math. Um, these are something that you should have covered last year in sixth grade. We pulled these straight from a sixth grade book. So, but I'm sure if you're like me, you've slept since then, so you've kind of forgotten some of these. Um, but these are called ratios. They're kind of comparisons. So we'll solve these by simply doing cross multiplication. So I'm rewriting it a little bigger so that we can see it. But once we have cross multiplied, we then have a one step equation that we have dealt with before. So I'm going to take three and multiply it by 30 and I get 90. Then I'm going to take five and multiply it by T and you get 5t. Now we have a one-step equation. It might look backwards, but we know that we can flip that. So I need to isolate this t by itself. I need to isolate the variable. Well, this is multiplication. The inverse or opposite is division. So I'm dividing both sides by 5. Then you are left with t equals 90 divided by 5. All right, and 9 divided or 90 divided by 5 is 18. So your answer, because you know computers need specific answers, will be typed in T. Okay, your answer, because it says answer only in a whole number, will just be typed in as 18. Second question is done the same way. You will do two, two, why is it not writing? Two over one equals X over three. I do want you to notice though, that miles are on top and inches are on the bottom. That is important with any material that might be coming up. Um, so we are going to cross multiply. Two times three is six. And one times x is one x. I'll divide both sides by one, and I get x equals six. So your short answer text, you'll just type in number six. Okay, the next problem is Choose the correct ratio to describe the situation. Five dogs to three cats. Well, there's three ways to write. There's at least three. Five dogs to three cats. So that's an answer. You can also write it as five over three, which is this answer. This one's not right because it's backwards. But this one actually says, look, if I get rid of the dogs and I get rid of the cats, it says five to three. So that is the other answer. This one is backwards. So your answers are these three. Next question, it's talking about Gerald is going to yoga for $90 for, okay, now this, sorry. This is why I talked earlier about, it said miles, it says miles per inch, miles per inch. Well, that's here, it's $90. $90, so dollars for six classes. Well, that's the same as the cost per class. Per class means per one class. So where is classes? Is it at the top or is it the bottom? And it's at the bottom. And so then we wanna know our cost, which is X. How do we solve? Because remember our unknown is the cost per class. 90 times one is 90 equals six times X. We're gonna divide both sides by six. Oh, it's not moving. And you're left with X equals 90 divided by six. I think we did that earlier and it's 15. We did not, it was close. So X equals 15. So, answer to this one is 15. You will put a check there. 
This one is also done the same way. You will have to think about the per. So using our help here, three miles in 27 minutes, <coughs> it's per minute, right? So that is three with 27, three miles, 27. But this one, it only gives me miles. So if miles is on the top here, miles has to go on the top here and our unknown is there. So our equation then becomes three over 27 equals five over X. Um, I'm gonna try to write that over here so that it's a little easier for me. Three over 27 equals five over X. I'm going to cross multiply three times X, three X equals five times 27. I'm going to cheat. It's 135. Then to solve the one step equation, it's divided by three divided by three. So X equals 135 divided by three is 45. And how does it want me to answer it? Only with a number, so you're just going to type 45. That's all for this one.